Greetings, Braveheart. Welcome to Stretching and Strengthening with me. You can call me Auntie Angel or Z Gala. As usual, I'm here just to casual freestyle, do a little stretching, a little letting go of stressing. And I invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. I like to remind you there's not one way. Make sure you follow your own lead. Don't do anything that hurts. And also push yourself a little bit beyond your comfort zone, maybe, if you feel like it. Because even though you're enough exactly the way you are, I'm sure you can do more than you think you can. That's true of almost all of us. Perhaps David Goggins being the exception. If you don't know who that is, look him up but you might already. Anyway, <sighs> let's do a little deep breathing, arm swinging, letting go of stress. Start with an exhale. <sighs> and then get in a nice inhale. It's as, as it has been a little bit chilly in here. I still got the whole house to myself. It's become a, it's become a thing. I won't say it's a problem, but Airbnb that I was doing has just dropped out of the situation. So I am adjusting accordingly and looking forward to maybe moving back into this side of my house. You might be able to gather that I've been, my stuff has been gathering its stuff, its stuff itself in this side of the room steadily. <laughs> so uh, yeah, perhaps I will join it soon enough. In the meantime, let's do a little full body stretching and just warm things up. I think I'm gonna start directly with a step back with the left foot into a nice moderate lunge. I like to start on the left just so I can keep track, but you can start on either side. Just make sure you alternate so you do the same on each side. And in this pose, we're gonna pull the back hip forward, forward hip back looking for a relatively perpendicular line with the pelvis, relatively parallel lines with the feet, try not to fall over. <laughs> and just gonna just, just kind of feel into this power position for a few breaths, tipping the tailbone under, still pulling those hips onto the perpendicular line, checking in with the feet, nice and stable on parallel lines. Let's bring the arms up and then down in front. Roll those shoulders down and back. And just bring sharp focus onto the fingertips. And then I'm going to switch to uh, soft eyes. Noticing the peripheral vision, gazing out at the horizon or the imaginary horizon. <sighs> and then again, bring sharp eyes, sharp focus onto the fingertips. And then let's shift that back foot onto the perpendicular line and with focusing on that finger bring the finger arching across the body if you can it's good practice for balance and adjust the feet a little bit the heels should be basically on the same line in this position checking in with the hand alignment let's slide that back foot out and come into a triangle pose Bending from the hip, lifting the left arm, gaze past those fingertips, and use your right arm and leg against each other for torque and support. Make sure not to collapse into that side. You want to stay nice and strong. Nice diagonal line through the body there. Let's bring this hand around to reach for that opposite thigh around the back. Just for an extra twist, giving the spine a little twist to the organs, a little internal hug, I like to think of it as. And gaze out past that long leg, kind of involve the neck there. <sighs> Give you full permission to sigh all you like. It's a good way to just let go of stress. Let's unwind all that. And shifting onto that back toe, so you're closing the hips. Bring both hands down onto the floor on the inside of that front leg and just enjoy a nice deep plunge on that side. And then bring all your weight onto your hands and bring that back, or that front foot back to meet the back foot. I'm gonna shift forward just a little bit so I'm in frame. And then 
pushing back in the hips. Your palms should be nice and strong, fingers wide, and push down in those heels, if you can, all the way to the floor. If I were walking around behind you, I would pull your hips a little bit toward the wall behind you, help you get that nice straight line from the fingertips out the tailbone. Tip your tailbone a little bit toward the back of the head, even if it's just in your mind. Increase that stretch along the backs of the legs. And pushing your heart toward the center of the earth. Gets your head and neck and spine all in a line with your arms. <sighs> Let's bring weight onto the right foot and lift that left leg up high, keeping the hip facing the ground. So closed hip sensation. Just pushing from the fingertips all the way through the spine, out that leg. Point the toes if you like. And then let's open the hip, bringing that to the side. I like to add a little, <laughs> a little spastic circle there. I'm not sure why that's so difficult for me, but it is a lot of times. It's like crossing over my brain. And then closing the hip again, pressing the heart toward the earth. And then bring that foot down. My feet are sliding a little. Bring weight onto the left and lift that right leg up. Again, pushing from the fingertips and palms all the way through the spine, out the toe, keeping that hip facing the ground, closed hip, really feeling into that long line. And then when you're ready, let that foot drift over to the other side. You can look over your shoulder at it and add a little ankle rotation one way and then the other way. See if that's difficult for you. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious if you try this, if that's difficult for you. I know some of you might just be watching now, but I do hope that you will try some of these moves. And uh, I have been repeating them. So by now, if you've been watching, you might feel qualified enough to try some out. Let's bring that foot back down and spread the legs out a little bit and just press again back into the hips, pressing the hips toward the wall behind, pressing down in those heels, pressing your heart toward the earth. Ah, a nice heavy sigh. Let's step forward with the left foot in between the hands or as close to, adjust accordingly. Enjoy a nice deep lunge on that side. I'm gonna pull that back foot forward a little, straighten the front leg and Aim chin for toes for a nice straight line in the upper body over the lower body. And then bend your front leg and step forward with that back foot into a forward fold. Just letting gravity do some unwinding here. Letting go of the spine. And then when you're ready, bend your knees, swing your arms back. Lifting arms, chest, and eyes to the sky, pushing the pelvis forward a little bit, enjoying a nice counter stretch there. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe and smile. Let's bring arms up overhead, lowering the shoulders, lowering the hands, come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. And just check in with the alignment, rooting the feet into the earth. Checking that the hips are over the feet, the shoulders are relaxed and over the hips, the ears are over the shoulders. And now let's step back with the right foot into a nice warrior pose on the other side. And again, you wanna pull the back hip forward, forward hip back, tuck the tailbone under and push into that back heel for a nice stable position. Ha! Let's bring arms up and down in front, rolling those shoulders down and back a little bit. And again, bring sharp focus onto the fingertips. And then you can use a blink to switch that if you want, or just switch to soft eyes, gazing out at the horizon and noticing your peripheral view. And then again, sharp focus on the fingertips. And let's shift that back heel onto the perpendicular line and follow that fingertip as it arch across the body, coming into a side triangle or side warrior pose. Not sure which one this is called. Opening the hips, so you're swinging this knee 
to the wall behind you. And then bending from the hip, we're gonna come into a side twisting triangle, sliding that back foot out a little bit and lifting the right fingertips. Gaze up past those fingertips using your left arm and leg against each other for torque and support. And then you can bring that hand around the back side to reach for that opposite thigh. And look out past that long leg for an additional twist. Again, giving all the organs a little hug, checking in with the spine. And when you're ready, untwist that, bring that hand around and come onto your back toes, closing the hips, bringing both hands down on the inside of that front leg. And add a little deeper lunge there if you like. And then bringing weight onto the hands. Fingers are wide, palms are strong. Pushing back through the palms, through the spine, into the hips, pushing the hips behind, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head a little bit and pressing down in the heels. Pressing the heart toward the center of the earth. <sighs> I'm realizing that I didn't do the cobra pose, so we'll throw in one on this side, even though we didn't do it on the other side for a little variety. Sliding those feet out a little bit, drop the hips and the knees, release the feet and push up through the palms, through the shoulders, lifting the eyes, getting a nice stretch through the whole front of the body. Just let the belly go if you can. If you need to protect the low back, you can keep the butt tense and that will help protect the low back. Or you can just let all that go Really enjoying the stretch from the pelvis all the way up through the chin. If you want to in your chin for the sky or the ceiling, make sure not to collapse in your shoulders there, nice and strong and long. And then tuck your toes under and lift your hips again, pushing back through the palms, nice and long, all the way out through the tailbone. Again, tipping the tailbone a little bit toward the back of the head pushing into those heels, pushing back in the hips, pushing the heart toward the earth. Ah, this is Adho Mukha or Downward Facing Dog. Let's add another variation here. Come down on the knees gently and we're gonna slide the hands out into Uttana Shishosana or Extended Puppy Pose. Sliding the hands out to the forehead touches the floor, and for me, that's just a nice sort of passive stretch on the shoulders. Do be mindful of your own shoulders. If yours are like mine, you might be carrying a lot of tension in there, so again, follow your own body's lead. I like to get into this pose and just encourage those tense muscles to let go a little bit, give them a breath or two. And when you're ready, walk back up to hands and knees. Let's add a little cat pose here. Arching the back, pulling up in the abdomen, tucking the tailbone and the chin. <sighs> Exhaling, and then we'll pair that with Vitalasana or cow, pushing up in through the arms, lifting the eyes and chest, lifting the tailbone breathing into the belly, and then again, exhale into cat, arching the back, tipping the tailbone and the chin, pressing side to side, so you're really stretching the back, side to side and front to back. <sighs> exhale, pulling up in the abdomen, and then inhale into the abdomen, lifting the eyes and chest, lifting the tailbone, Breathing into the belly. Let's do that one more time. Up into Marjaria Sana or cat pose. Tucking the tailbone and chin, rounding the spine. Really squeezing the air out, pulling up in the abdomen. One more time. Vitilasana or cow pose. Lifting in the chest and eyes, lifting with the tailbone. Breathing into the belly and let's come back to neutral. Tuck the tail or tuck the toes under and again push the hips back and the heels down into Adho Mukha Asana or downward facing dog. 
And when you're ready, let's step forward with that right hand in between the hands, I mean the right foot in between the hands. Adjust as you need to, whether it's your shirt or your legs or whatever else, it's all good. I like to enjoy a little, a little deep lunging there. And let's pull that back foot forward a little and straighten that front leg in your chin for your toes, draping your upper body over your lower body. If that's too deep to touch the floor, you can use your leg for support. I find more stability on either side there, but I tend to be a little bit hyper flexible sometimes, I think. So again, listen to your own body. Find what works for you. <sighs> Enjoying a couple breaths there before bending that front leg and stepping forward with the back leg back into forward fold and just hanging here and bending from the hips here. <sighs> Let's roll up this time, one vertebrae at a time, pushing from the bottoms of the feet, tipping the tailbone first, just noticing, checking in with the spine, checking in with everybody. Let's shake all that out. Uh, I was gonna do an offside twist, but I think I went really slow and I'm trying to keep these at a moderate length for right now, although heads up, I will be doing a little bit different stuff in the near future. It's all a work in progress. I've been working on my own healing and doing okay at that. I'm not, not, uh, not getting any younger, but I am getting a little of my strength back and I'm super grateful for that. It's been a, it's been a rough ride as, as we say at band practice. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for being you. Thanks for letting me be me. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If you do, that really helps me out a lot. I hope you stay curious and courageous and more fit and free. Remember that you're worthy of your own unconditional love exactly as you are. And again, I will say you can probably do more than you think. So check it out. You're worth it. I'll be seeing you. Till next time. Peace.